Welcome back, Daniel Hall here, progressing, percolating, and evolving. And today I have something very, very special for you. Today, I'm actually going to show you how you can, number one, outline your book and actually finish the first draft of your book that quick. I mean, just as fast as you possibly could do it. And that's what we have in store for you. So if you're working on a nonfiction book and if you've been struggling to, to outline it and to actually get it completed, then this is the video for you. By the way, if you are new here and you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do that right now and make sure to hit the little bell notification so that you are notified every time I turn loose another one of these gem videos for you. And if you like the content and you want me to keep doing it, please annihilate that like button. It really helps with the YouTube analog rhythm and helps to support the channel. So with that, let's jump into the video right now. Today, I'm actually gonna walk you through outlining a nonfiction book and show you the fastest way to actually finish that book in really record time. You're gonna love this. Let's jump in right now. So I gotta tell you, my thinking, my thought processes are very scattered. They're naturally unorganized, if you can believe that. Truth, okay? That's why one of the things that's really, really important for me is to at least have a, a general outline of where I am going and what I'm actually going to write. It really does make the process of writing that much faster. So. The reason why that I love this outlining process is it gives me an opportunity to actually brainstorm ideas on what I wanna get into a chapter or into a book as a whole. It actually helps you to write the best book possible that essentially fulfills the intention that you set out for the book. It allows you to sort of percolate on what you wanna do with the book and then, and because of that, it alerts you to help you to fill in gaps in needed research, if any. Now, I've often said, and it's often been said, that if you want to write fast, write what you know. And I think that's pretty apropos to this discussion, but if you do need extra research, then this outlining process really does help you with that. It also, importantly, gives you a writing roadmap so that it essentially allows you to know that I need to write, oh, you know, a, a paragraph or two on this sub point and maybe four or five or six paragraphs on this sub point and so forth and so on. And because it, the thought has already been put into and baked into the outline, the writing process is that much faster and it, allow, it allows you to go on to the next topic and the next topic, one right after the other, and it really helps with the flow, okay, of your writing. That's why we outline and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to show you what I've got to show you in today's video because how most people outline is what I consider, oh, drudgery. In fact, maybe you were taught in school, I know I was, that you should outline with, you know, Roman numeral one and then big letter A, then Roman numeral, uh, small Roman numeral one, two, and three, and so forth, which drove me crazy. It, 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 it still drives me crazy to this day. And I'm only that far from being a little crazy anyway. And I'm not knocking this way that we were taught in school, the sort of this traditional way to outline. And if that works for you, more power to you. Go ahead and use that. But I wanted to show you an effective way, at least effective for me and many, many of the students I've taught in the past, that you might resonate with this. You might want to employ it in your outlining instead of the old fashioned way. The first thing I want you to understand about this approach, and it is a really important thing, that I don't want you thinking of in terms of your content of you 
getting it down on the page, sort of, you know, plowing through it, you know, line by line, sentence by sentence, and making it all perfect. I want you to think about what you're going to write, those things that you are going to sort of bake into your outline as what you intend to teach, okay? That's going to be really important based on what I'm going to teach you a little later on in this video. So don't think about it from the standpoint of writing or typing. Think about it from the standpoint of teaching. Now I wanna give you some shortcuts here on getting your outline done as quickly as possible. One of the things that I love is the idea of essentially standing on the shoulder of giants. And what I mean by that is that I want to use my available mental bandwidth, which is, you know, let's face it, limited for all of us, but I want to use that mental bandwidth in the most effective way I possibly can. So I essentially don't want to replow the same ground other people, other experts in the niche that I'm writing in have already plowed. So you could ethically do what I'm about to show you here by essentially emulating, borrowing some of the ideas that other authors in your niche who, are, who have written books that you intend to write have used in the past. And the easiest, best, and really savviest way to do this is by using Amazon's Look Inside feature. And this is really, really cool. I think you're gonna love it. The thing is, is that you can go to Amazon, and I'm sure you've seen when you look directly above a Amazon book cover, there is a little look inside feature. And if you click that cover on just about any Amazon listing, it will actually bring up a page that looks like this. And it'll give you the first 10% of the book usually. And usually within that first 10% of the book is a table of contents. And this table of contents is absolute gold, okay, for outlining your book. And what I suggest that you do is go and look at comparable books to yours and cherry pick those ideas that you want to cover and look at how they organized their book. And with doing this, once again, you can stand on the shoulder of giants. You can, you could uh, use the work product of other people, not to copy it, but to understand that maybe if somebody covered this topic, maybe I should cover it too, right? And, oh, maybe I should rearrange it because I think it makes more sense if I use it here. That's sort of the idea of the look inside feature. So when you are outlining, this should be, in my opinion, one of your first stops. The other resource I wanted to show you here in outlining your nonfiction book quickly is a great site called answerthepublic.com. And at answerthepublic.com, you can type in any search phrase, any search phrase, and Answer the Public will actually take that search phrase and come up with all kinds of related questions to that search phrase. And oftentimes by reading these questions, it will trigger more things in your mind that, oh, I need to cover this, which of course goes on your outline, okay? By the way, Answer the Public is very, very similar, and in my opinion, much, much better than the old Google Wonder Wheel. The Google Wonder Wheel, I did something very similar to this where you typed in a search term and it, will, it gave you a visual representation of other related terms. The same is true for answer the public here. And I, I show you here this really pretty graphical representation that it makes. 
and and that should be your second stop along the way in doing your outline. And of course, of course, you've made those two stops. You should obviously infuse the rest of your outline with your own ideas. I mean, that goes without saying, right? Now, once you've sort of hit those three places, your own noodle, your, what's, what's in your brain, the, the look inside feature and answer the public.com. Now, one of the easiest ways to put together an outline from these three things that I've showed you here, your own mind, okay, the look inside feature in amazon.com and answer the public.com. One of the ways that I put together outlines very, very quickly is not by writing them all out and try to trying to think linearly, okay? I love to use this additional tool called FreeMind. Now, this is a mind mapping tool that allows you to essentially put in a subject and then allow you to, like a wagon wheel, put another related topic related to sort of the, the hub of the wagon wheel, the, the middle part of it. So you make spokes around it using a program like FreeMind, which by the way, is 100% free. I'll make sure to put the links to all of these into the description for this video. But the cool thing about FreeMind is it's completely free, okay? So once you've done that, once you've kind of mind mapped this all out, you can then go to the very next step, which is essentially create a slide presentation, okay, with bullet points. And you do your outline essentially as bullet points in slide presentations. Now, what I like to do is I like to make a deck of four, five, six slides per chapter of my book. That's usually about how much material I'm going to cover. And I'm not going to make it super detailed, okay, because we want to do this fast. I just want to give myself writing prompts, okay, or in this case, teaching prompts, going back to what I said earlier, think teaching, not typing, not writing, all right? And you're going to go through and make one slide deck for each chapter of your book that you've outlined with your mind map, okay? Then, and this is where it gets really, really cool, instead of sitting down to write all of that out, you're going to actually teach your slides, okay? You're gonna teach your slides. And you're going to record yourself doing that. And how I like to think about this is, I try to imagine myself back in college, way back then, and the professor giving me an assignment to essentially teach the subject matter of my book, and I needed a slide presentation to do that. And if I, if, if I get in that mindset that I'm going to teach the content that are, that's on my slides, it makes it so much easier. Then I'm going to record myself teaching each one of these slides using Hangouts on Air. So you don't need any special screen capture software or anything like that. You can just use Hangouts on Air, freely available to everyone who has a Google account, and you can show your screen with it. And again, teach your way through that. Then, once you have your video, and I would make one video for each chapter, then I would suggest you, you simply upload it to a site like temi.com or rev.com and then have your words transcribed. And by the way, I love temi.com because it's only 10 cents a minute, okay? And they use artificial intelligence to, uh, to do all of this and it's pretty clean. And if you want it ultra clean, okay, ultra clean, then go to rev.com. They will charge you $1 a minute. And what they do, because Temi and Rev are owned by the same people, what Rev will do is they will run it through Temi first, and then they will have a reader kind of go back through it, a transcription person go back through it to make sure it's clean. In, in my humble estimation, 
the 10 cent a minute is as is fine because I'm going to get in and edit it anyway. And the cool thing is, is it, it will produce the first draft of your book very, very quickly, just like this. And sort of the secret sauce here is because you've taught your book, okay? And it's not sort of a Q&A type of transcription. You've taught it. The prose that comes out that is that results from this process is relatively clean. No, it's not pristine, not ready to publish, not by by any stretch of the imagination, but it's relatively clean. And now you've got words on the page. Not only have you outlined your book, but you actually have the first draft of your nonfiction book very, very quickly. And yes, it's going to require polishing and it does need polishing and editing and all those other things. But it's so much easier to do this once once you have words on the paper. Then you can start cleaning it up and, and adding to it and so forth. So here's what you've accomplished by using this strategy. You've essentially outlined your nonfiction book. You've actually recorded a video of you teaching your book, which by the way, you could use later, okay? You could actually use it as a giveaway for, for people buying your book, or you could actually make even a little course out of it. Hello, okay? And in addition to all of that, you've produced a rough draft of your book as well. Mamma mia. So this is the way I like to write when I produce nonfiction books. A lot of these strategies come directly out of my book, Real Fast Writing. I'll leave a link to it in the, in the description if you're interested. But the really cool thing is, is that you can, in fact, outline your book and get a first draft of it out, wow, like pronto fast. So that's what I have for you in this video. Listen, if you got value from this video, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe and hit the bell notification and completely smash the like button. It really helps in the YouTube algorithm so that YouTube knows to show it to more people and, and therefore it supports me. So I would appreciate if you would do that if you haven't yet done that. Also, I would love to hear your comments on whether you like this strategy, whether you see yourself using it and what you plan to do with this strategy. One last thing. If you love this video or have struggled at all with writing your book, then I've got a couple videos for you at the end of this one coming up in just a moment. Make sure to check them out. Thanks so much for watching and remember, be the blessing.